Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. We are about to get into Moonlight Chicken episode two. Episode one left off. I got the names this time. You're gonna be so proud of me. <laughs> um, Jim and Wynn had their one night stand, and now they're like, Jim's like, no, we're not doing this again. And Wynn's like, okay. Um, Hart and Ming have met. Um, basically, Hart got Ming in trouble, so now Ming has to work for Hart's family. Ling has a girlfriend that I'm not sure how their story is going to come into play yet. And I think that's everybody. That's basically what happened. You know, there was a lot of walking and drunkenness, and then there was a lot of moon clips as well. But other than that, that's all that happened. <laughs> um, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, guys. Episode 2. Episodes, we're still playing around. We're just, we're playing so many games. I don't even know what to do with myself, okay? Um, so, one. Uh, Ming and Puan, I think that's his girlfriend's name, Bron, uh, are pregnant. They're pregnant. And so, Ling doesn't have the money. So, what Uncle does, Jim, is he, instead of paying his car insurance, he goes to get um, a gold chain that, Ling can use for the dowry so that he can marry Pran because Pran is pregnant. Right, okay, boom. Um, meanwhile, Min and Hart are just writing away. Why are they writing it down and not texting? I don't know. Because they have cell phones, right? Maybe they don't have cell phones. They have line ID. And line ID, from what I understand, is some kind of instant messaging situational, right? They also have IG, which I know that you can DM on. So the fact that they have both of these types of communication services and they're using neither of them, it's very interesting to me as they're being teenagers, but it's whatever. So they're communicating by writing everything down. And it's so cute because it's just, um, it's not like it's trying to be something, you know? Like they're just two guys who are both in a situation they don't really want to be in, but they can't really do anything about it because they're teenagers with no power. And they're just chilling. You know, and they're hanging out together because their world, they're like the safe haven for each other without them realizing it. And they're building a friendship, which is awesome. They started off with, um, you know, kind of like a butting head situation, you know. But eventually, Hart said sorry for the whole um, glass bottle thing. So apparently, Hart thought that um, Ming wasn't going to get in trouble because he w didn't think his mama was going to notice. But his mama noticed, and so that's why we are where we are um but basically he goes over there every day cleans a little and then watches movies uh Ming watches movies with heart and uh, they're just hanging out and escaping their the stress lives right now because from what i can understand Ming is failing english but he really wants to do this abroad program which is like work you get to travel and work but he needs to know English, and because he's failing English, he won't be able to do it. So that's stressing him out. I think Hart is buried in the idea that he's never going to really do anything because his mama forbid him from leaving ever since he became deaf. When he became deaf is the question I would like the series to answer because it does not seem like it's a. it's been a couple of years versus his whole life, right? Um, and then when and Jim... Uncle Jim, no, I'm right. Um, yeah, Wynn and Jim. Jim Wynn. Um, so, Wynn is coming in heavy. He's coming in heavy with the flirtations, and I'm not mad at him. I want him to keep doing what he's doing, okay? Because typically, um, typically in in um, Earth Mix, right? So, Earth is Jim, right? And Mix, mix is um, Wynn, right? So, typically in Earth mix movie uh shows earth is typically the one chasing mix right but in this one mix is chasing earth and i am here for all the shenanigans i love to see it okay um and so when is doing most of the ch the chasing in this um show and jim is trying heavy to avoid it but here's my thing if you were trying to avoid somebody flirting with you maybe you don't hire them it's an idea I'm just saying, if I'm trying to not have somebody in my space, I'm not going to then invite them to my space daily. That doesn't make any sense to me. 
Anyway, so, um, the interesting thing is, apparently, Guy, um, had, well, we know that Guy has a thing for Jim, right? But apparently, Jim knows that Guy has a thing for him. I thought he just didn't realize that he did, but no, he knows. And so, Guy had came over with some food for Jim, right? And I'm pretty sure Guy is cooking the food, not his mama, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so he comes over with the food, right? And so, Wynn is there, you know, helping, because he's helping. Um, and so, there's like this tension in the scene. And I'm over here like, why? Why is there so much tension? And it's because Jim knows that they are both interested in him, and he is being with neither of them now the real question is at any point did he sleep with guy and or produce some type of flirtations because from what i have seen from their interactions jim has not produced any type of flirtations with guy he's produced flirtations with win but not guy right so why was there tension there's this backstory we're missing on that part right the other thing is Win's job, right? We finally find out what it is. He's some kind of boss of some kind of store. That's all I got. I saw him ordering people around, putting up a sales sign, and then decorating a window. That was it. That's all I got from him, right? And he's got money. Because he keeps paying for food. And then, so, um, Wynn was helping. Well, first of all, Wynn bought Jim some lunch and some fruit. And then... He didn't eat the fruit, so Jim gave the fruit to um, Ling and hid the necklace inside the fruit bag, right? But, okay. So, um, what, so Wynn and, and um, Jim are, like, cleaning up, right? And so Wynn gets this emergency call from his job, like, in a panic, right? And so Jim drives Wynn to his job in the mall, right? And so... Um, it turns out their emergency was some kind of bat problem. They were decorating for Halloween and they didn't have enough bats. Why was that a 911 emergency? I don't know, but I feel like that I could have texted. I feel like y'all could have called. Like, I didn't need to drive here. But whatever, they needed a moment. Um, And so, in backing up to drop Wynn off, Jim hits a motorcyclist and his woman. Um, And so, Jim doesn't have any car insurance because he used his car insurance money to buy ling the necklace so ling can marry prawn right just make sure you guys are catching up um and so basically when pays for that too so i'm over here like how much money does this man have to be over here paying for for everything basically um but i feel like we're gonna find out later i i do i think they're giving us clues so that they can be like later you know and i'm excited about it I am. I am excited about it. Anyway, so, um, yeah, so he sets him off, whatever, this whole thing. So the man, right, Jim, he goes to go buy a beer because he just has to buy a beer. Um, but he doesn't get not one beer. He gets two beers because every day they have to do their beer thing. Even though Jim keeps insisting that he likes to drink alone, he keeps pulling out a beer for this man. This man being when. Um, so he, he tasks, Jim has the two beers. He goes up to the window and he sees Wynn talking to this other guy. Some random guy. Don't ask me who it is. Asks for her his line ID, right? Or his chat ID. Um, and so he sees the, he sees it. And yes, Wynn is smiling, but Wynn's not being flirty. I know Wynn's not being flirty. I've seen Wynn flirty. This is not it, right? But in Jim's head, you know, this guy's his age. He's, you know, smiling. He seems like the right kind of fit. So I'm just going to walk away. This is Jim's thinking. So where does Jim go, guys? Jim goes to the staircase. That doesn't feel like walking away, Jim. How about you get in your vehicle? It's an idea. Um, if he really wanted to get away. But Jim's just playing hard to get at this point. And I'm going to let it go because I like to see the drama. Um, anyway, so when ends up seeing Jim turn around and ends up following him out, um to drink his beer right and then basically when does this like scoop bump thing and he ends up like right next to the man to jim right and then at some point he ends up right next to jim's face and they're like three inches from kissing right and then at the last second i'm talking the very last second jim's like no. and i'm like jim 
You were already here, my brother. Why? Why? He does it not once, but twice. And then Wynn's like, okay. Because Wynn, in this, he is a flirt. And he even said, you know, when I want something, I'm going to go for it. He clearly wants Jim. He's clearly going for it. Um, and so, basically, they have this little talk where Jim's basically saying, like, oh, you shouldn't be interested in me. I'm too old for you. I don't really want to do this. I don't believe in, you know, being with somebody. And then they talk about their dreams at one point, right? And so Jim's dream is basically to take care of himself and his family and to one day have a lot of money, right? And then Wynn's dream, Wynn's dream is to find a home. And not a physical place, but a person that he can come home to where, you know, they can be his stress relief and his moment and his peace. And the whole time he's saying it, he is looking directly at Jim's eyes. And I am here for everything that that scene was supposed to be giving me because it gave it all. It gave so much energy. It rebreathed life into what you may have thought was a depleting relationship, but it wasn't. Because we're just building the stepping stones right now. We're building the foundation, okay? What's that song? A house don't fall when the bones are good. That's what we're doing right now. We're we're building the bones, okay? Because this house is not going to fall. Because I know for a fact that something's about to come and mess it up. It's not going to be soon. But I can feel it in the back of my head and my shamamana, okay? And so we're going to build the foundation, okay? We're going to build the bones, so when everybody comes trying to knock it over, it's not going to move. And I'm okay with that. As a matter of fact, the next four episodes can go at this pace. Kind of slow. It's a little slow. But that's okay. The next four episodes can do this. Because I want a strong foundation on all relationships before the world tries to tear them apart. Okay? Um, lots of ums today, right? Um, <laughs> what else happened? Yeah, so basically they're having a moment. And so they ended... Jim and Wynn end it with Wynn's head on his shoulder and they're just having a moment in the dark on the staircase because you can clearly feel that they're feeling something even though they said it wasn't going to get complicated. We have entered the realm of complications. This mess is complicated. Now, can it be more complicated? Yes, 100%. But it's complicated now too. Um, what was I going to say? What was I about to say? Oh, yeah, we're right. Okay, so the funny thing is Ling, right? Um, Ling was with Jim in the restaurant, and he was like, you have night and then you have day. You need to choose one. And so immediately, because right, right as he's saying that, Wynn is passing him, right? And so, well, not passing him, but I just passed him. And so immediately you know that he's talking about Wynn and um, God, right? And then flash forward flash backwards uh, a few minutes, right? There was this scene where right before he tri goes to pay the car insurance, there's a stack of like processed paperwork from Guy and then the beer that he keeps drinking with Wynn because apparently they only like one type of beer. Um, and you see like flashbacks of his interactions with Guy and then flashbacks of his interaction with Wynn. And so you can see that they're setting that up to be some type of triangle-ness. The funny thing about triangles is it's never that third leg. This it's more like a, like a V, right? Because this person A may like person B, and then person C might like person B. But person A and C never like each other. So that doesn't make it a triangle. That makes it a V. For it to be a triangle, A and C also have to like each other. I really feel like we've miscommunicated that in the world of TV dramas and books and movies. Because we keep saying triangle when it should be a V. But... I'm not going to let that deter what we're trying to say here. What I'm saying is they're trying to build that to be a thing. It's a, a um, guy versus win situation. Because um, they're both possibles for Jim. Personally, this is just my personal opinion for the past two episodes. I don't think Win likes Guy. I don't think Win is interested... Not Wynn. I don't think God, I don't think Jim is interested in Guy whatsoever. You can see his interest in Win. Like, they have those prolonged stares. They're looking at each other a lot. They like to be in each other's space. They like to be, like, next to each other. He doesn't do that with Guy. Granted, I've seen them... I've seen him and Guy interact... Maybe four times. Episode one... It was, like, two times. And I think this episode was, like, two times. 
So I've seen them interact four times max, right? And the whole time they're doing that, granted, majority of those times, it's um, they're always with other people. They only were by themselves one time, and it wasn't even by themselves because Wynn was also them watching them watch him. So they've never really been by themselves, so I can see how they interact. But just from what I'm seeing, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like that's a possibility on Jim's side. Maybe on Guy's side, but not Jim's side. Um, but yeah. I'm excited to see the next episode. They just keep building on it. So I thought that they were going to wait to keep building um, Heart and Ming. But they're not. They're building them simultaneously. So each episode, all you're getting, you're getting a story plot um, for all, for pretty much all the couples. Granted, the one that's getting the most time is Jim and Wen, with the dash of um, Guy, barely, and then under them is Heart and Ming, but then under them is Ling and Pawn. They have the shortest storyline, but it's still, I look, it's they're still building on them. More than I thought they were going to. I thought they were going to go heavy on Jim and Wynn. But they're they're trying to not equally share the time, but dispense the time. So I'm happy that all the couples are building at the same time. So we can watch them develop simultaneously, which is more fun. I like, I like to watch everything come together versus halfway finishing one and then doing the other, you know? But I'm here for all the... Com I think I've seen all the combinations now. Or at least almost all the combinations. I have more to go. So I'm going to see. <laughs> um, but other than that, it was it was a good second episode. This pace is slower. You know? And so it's if you've seen other Earth Mix shows, they're, they have a slower pace. And so that's what this show is following. Um, so long as you like that kind of pace, you're going to like this. I'm okay with all paces. Pace I? Paces. Um... But it does have a slower pace, so just, you know, have that in mind while you're watching it. I don't foresee that speeding up anytime soon. It's probably going to be like this for, if not halfway through the season, the whole season. Yeah. So, anyway, that's all for me. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.